How old you say you are? I'm 24. Okay, what's going on, man? Hey, man. Uh, I just wanted to ask about like physical. Do I look okay or you know physique? Okay. My health, just those two. But like, I know I got a lot of things I gotta focus on. Okay, let's look at let's talk, talk about your your physical, meaning your looks, right? That's what you want help with. Oh uh, yeah. Um, okay, so the beard is too rough. It's too scruffy. It looks like you need you haven't combed that shit in like three weeks. Why are you letting your beard be that rough looking? As right now, um, I would say just because like I guess I like to be focused on on things that I'm trying to focus on. The, what what and, the fuck uh, does that mean, bro? What the fuck does that mean? What what are you trying to focus on? It's just like uh more of um. I guess money and just working hard and you can work on work. money and not look like a, a fucking uh, goatee man. You you don't have to look like a you haven't seen a, a barber in ten years. Why do y'all like to use that excuse, bro? Please stop fucking using that excuse. Stop yeah. telling me you're working on yourself as an excuse for you to let yourself go. That's not a fucking excuse. Yeah, you can work on your money, bro. You can work on your life. And be presentable. Right. Y'all just looking for an excuse to do nothing. You can get a trimmer, trim your beard down so it looks presentable, bro. That doesn't take 10 minutes. Right. And you can get back to work. Yeah. Come on, bro. When y'all gonna quit the when you y'all talk all this shit about girls, 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 girls. Y'all do the same thing. Yeah, no girls. <laughs> like you okay. So second thing, you got a gap. Yeah, Smile. I got it. I don't know what the, yeah, it's bad. Okay. There, there are ways you can fix that. There's something called resin. You can get okay. resin in between in between your gap. Yeah. Right? You decide mm -hmm. to just stay bald, right? He's going to be bald. Yeah. Well, I might change that in the future, but still, yeah. You don't have to be bald? You don't have a receding hella? Receding? Uh, I mean, the story started when I was young. I was losing hair. Okay. And, uh, yeah. But like the plan is like I was gonna hopefully change things, but I guess that didn't really happen. And so like pretty much I ended up having to cut everything. Right now it's just uh, just focus on the money for now. That's and bullshit. Really... Bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, come on. When's the last time you got some ass? When's the last time you got some ass? Uh, <laughs> uh well. Make sure your face is in the camera. Make sure your face is in the camera. Yeah. Do hey. you see me now? Yeah. When, when's the last time you got some pussy? Some ass. Uh, never really did. So you a virgin? Never. Yeah. Okay, you're you're 24 years old. Yeah, man. Okay, so you telling yourself that you're focusing on the money is is hurting nobody but you. Do you want to have a high quality partner? Do you want to have sex? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So so Pablo, listen. Why do you yeah. think that telling yourself, "Oh, I'm just focusing on the money," is the right mindset to have? Don't you think the mindset to have is, hey, every area of my life is important and I need to be working on it all. Mm. How much money are you making right now? Uh, I can't really say as much. I don't is really want to. Is it? Is it oh, okay, bro. Are you making uh, seven figures plus? Probably, it might be more. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So here we go. This is a perfect example. So what do yeah. you got? Your own business or something? Yeah. Yeah. So, something on the come up. Okay. So do you see how do you, do you see how you making a lot of money doesn't automatically make you better with women? Because you're still a virgin. Yeah, that's true. But I this but I won't lie because like I do like well I I don't even know if that's really a good excuse because like I do know how to talk to women. Right. Just like you know I'm not really trying to focus on that. I'm just like hey, I gotta set myself up first and then. You got to set yourself up. Okay, so you already making seven figures. You, I'm, I guarantee you, you thought that when you started making this money, women would start coming to you. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's what you thought. You ain't gonna lie to me. I know that's what you thought, and it's never gonna happen. Now you know what you make yourself, bro. You make yourself a big ass target. Okay. You make yourself one of these dudes that if a woman finds out that you're successful, and you haven't worked on any part of your life to make yourself more confident with women. She's going to take everything you got. She's going to take you to the cleaners. So stop mm -hmm. telling yourself that, oh, I'm I'm just focusing on myself. You can put a little bit of time into your image. You can put a little bit of time to talk to girls. Do you watch porn? Oh, uh, no. So you don't watch porn? No, never. <laughs> no. Do you masturbate? Oh, uh, no. 
No. Okay, so you so you don't watch porn, you don't masturbate. At least you're not doing that, but you're yeah. still telling yeah. yourself a lie. All right. How many hours yeah. a day you work? I believe I work a nine to five for now, right now. But uh, yeah. Just you mostly. work a nine to five, or you work from nine to five? Yeah, I work a nine to five. You work a nine to five, or you work uh, nine yeah. to five? Nine to five and others, but like you know, yeah. you don't wanna. And that's why like, I kind of hesitated on being on here. I was like, I was like, maybe I should let him know to like, you know, to like, you know, I'm there. And then just like, hey, this is like where I stand. Hold up. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Because you're not the only person I've ever talked to that makes money. Stop acting like you, you, you invented Mars or some shit. Yeah. Are you working a regular job or do you have your own business? Uh, regular and on the side. I would say. Okay. So yeah, you so have your own business making a lot of money and you still working a nine to five. Why are you working a nine to five? I guess I would say I really don't really have trust in a lot of people. You know what? So you're trying to be safe and do the nine to five as well? Yeah, just mostly safe. And Okay. So it sounds like you have some deeply rooted insecurities. Like you're, 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 you're not even sure about your own self. So you're not, yeah. you're just terrified to take risks. That's, that's a big problem, bro. Yeah. You can't be scared of everybody. Right. Because it seems like you're scared of women right now. It seems like you're scared of women. You seem like you're scared to to have a life. What's going? On? What happened in your life that that forced you to be that way? Because you're only 24. So if you if you oh. already making seven figures at 24, you did something spectacular. Yeah. So what did you? What what caused you to be this jaded or scared about people? I don't know because like I got so many stories, man. Uh, I fell off a cliff once, and then. Like uh, if you see in my face, you can see the missing hair buds and everything. So somebody pushed you off a cliff? No, like I fell off a cliff, like um, maybe off a rock or something, and uh, just the, the issue was never really called in and stuff like that. But like you know, just a lot of trust issues, I guess. But okay, like that's just okay. I'm just trying to help you with these trust issues. Nobody pushed you off the cliff. Yeah, no. Did you push yourself off the cliff? No, I would say like I tripped over and then I. So okay, where, and... where, where is the lack of trust in people coming in? What's going on? Why don't you trust people? Uh, <laughs> uh, Who well, fucked you over? You don't have to tell me names. You don't got to share any personal details. Just tell me what happened so I can understand. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of trust and. I don't know. I can't really explain that much, but like, um, just Is it family, to... family fucked you over. Okay. It seems like that, that bothers you a lot. So listen, 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 you can't let your trauma as a man, right? right. Make you, make you a shell of yourself. Cause if you, if you're 24 years old and you've made all this money, but you have extreme trust issues, you don't have a community or something like that. Like what's going on? Why don't you, don't you have friends or something? You don't got other people? Oh uh, no, man. Okay, so that's an issue. So what you're gonna be you're gonna be playing tricks in your own mind. Mm. It's time for you to change this shit, bro. It's time for you to get a network of other men. It's time for you to spread your wings out a little bit, maybe not communicate and, and hang out with people who are doing badly. Hang out with some people who are doing just as well as you. Mm. All right? Open, get out your yeah. own shell. Get comfortable talking to girls. Have a life outside of your business because it's it's ruining you mentally. Is that mm. shit making you depressed? <laughs> uh, about like depression. Uh, that's a whole other story. Uh, and I don't know why I'm talking so, you know, talking like this. But like, um, yeah, it might be. But like, you know, there's a lot I of things that pop. Yeah, so yeah. you got you got some uncovering to do, and I think I think a network of other men, and you starting yeah. to take a lot of action is going to help you. So I want you personally, bro. I want you to. I'm about to post a link, right? I want you. I right. want you to click that link, man, and book a free call. Let me see if I can help you out. Okay. And all you guys who maybe who may be going through something similar, click that link, man, and book a free call, bro.